Ahead of his highly anticipated tour of Asia, South Korea's top office has confirmed that U.S. President Donald Trump will stay in Seoul for two days, November 7th and 8th, during which time he will hold a bilateral summit with President Moon and address the lawmakers at the National Assembly. Now, it has been noted that President Trump's stay in South Korea will be slightly shorter than his time in Japan. And watchers, however, believe that a lot could be accompanied and accomplished during that time as the two allies will have the opportunity to highlight their strong bilateral alliance amid the rising threats from North Korea. Our Oh Jung-hee has more. This will be the third time President Moon Jae-in holds summit talks with his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump, coming after the ones held in June and September in Washington and New York, respectively. Amid North Korea's continued nuclear and missile provocations, President Trump's visit is significant in that Seoul and Washington can reaffirm their ironclad alliance. Trump is expected to stress again that all options are on the table, including military measures to pressure Pyongyang to completely discard its nuclear ambitions. President Trump will highlight Washington's security commitment to Seoul, including the provision of an extended deterrence under its nuclear umbrella, as well as support for enhancing Seoul's defense capabilities. President Trump is set to arrive in Seoul on November 7th and leave the next day. During his short visit, Trump is expected to address South Korea's National Assembly and reiterate Washington's stance regarding the circumstances in Northeast Asia. It's a short visit, but what's included in his itinerary is more important than the length of his visit. Seoul should use this opportunity to help President Trump better understand the graveness of the security situation here. It will be great if President Trump could visit the demilitarized zone or the U.S. base in Pyeongtaek. After his stay in Seoul, President Trump is scheduled to head to Beijing. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.